Toxic shock syndrome is a serious, even sometimes deadly disease. Many associate it with menstruation and the use of tampons, but one mom has made it her mission to warn that it can happen to anyone. Why? It happened to her eight-year-old daughter. Have a look. Gabby's story began with a small spot on her arm. Doctors told her it was just impetigo, a common skin infection, and sent her home with an ointment. But after a couple of days, Gabby kept getting worse. After developing swollen eyes and red itchy skin, Gabby was then given allergy medication to help treat the increasing problem. But still, Gabby continued to get worse. It looked like someone had dipped her in boiling water and eventually she had to be admitted to the hospital. In the hospital, doctors put the young girl on an antibiotic drip and told her mom, Christine, she might have Stevens-Johnson syndrome or staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome. Finally, Gabby started to get better and given a diagnosis. It was toxic shock syndrome. Join us now is Gabby and Christine via Skype. Christine, uh, thanks for being with us, Gabby. Thank okay. you as well. What's going yeah. on here? We took her to the pediatrician and he went over her symptoms and her records from the hospital. He was like, she has toxic shock syndrome, but with toxic shock syndrome, she is at risk for it to recur. So it's really important that as she gets older, um, she's very careful. Well, I'm so happy that, that you figured out what was going on, but most importantly, looking at Gabby, she looks like she's doing great. Gabby, how are you feeling? Good. Was that, was that scary? You look good. Yeah, she looks good. Yeah, it was, was the scary part. I got itches that I couldn't really get to. <laughs> yeah. That's but that, no but all that's better now? Yeah. That's great. And it highlights something that most people don't think about because if you've heard of toxic shock syndrome, you do, you think, tampons mm -hmm. or a foreign body. Nasal we talked about packing. nasal packings yeah, and that's, in yeah. fairness, even in medical school, that was the More big common. focus. Mm -hmm. But impetigo, an infection mm -hmm. I'm sure you've seen so many times in mm -hmm. your career, the fact that that could theoretically lead to toxic shock syndrome or in reality can, a lot of yeah. people don't know that. Right, and so I think Christine and Gabby, thank you so much for sharing your story because I think it's going to bring some much needed attention that this can occur outside the realms yeah, we all think of. Course. But impetigo, what you were saying, is a really common skin infection with usually staph aureus, but sometimes strep. Toxic shock, interestingly, is more of a systemic syndrome that comes from the toxin produced by those bacteria. So exactly like what Gabby experienced later on. And those scary diagnoses you were given, Stevens-Johnson, staph scalded skin, those are all after effects similarly of bacterial infections. So, so the bottom line is if someone you or someone you know, especially your child, has a bacterial infection and they seem to be getting worse in any sort of systemic way, then they need medical attention immediately. And Christine, I'm so glad you were persistent about this. You know, really took her in multiple times till she was on the yeah. right IV because any of those outcomes, all those scary diagnoses they were throwing at you can have devastating outcomes, so really important. And, and the beauty here, if there is a beauty, is as a parent, you don't need to know Correct. how to diagnose toxic shock syndrome. You need to be able to diagnose, my kid is sick yep. and getting sicker, yeah, and, and this is more than just a yeah. localized and, skin and, infection. And mom did that. I mean, we mm -hmm. saw that picture when, when Gabby was, was truly sick, and it showed. Yeah. I mean, she looked like a sick kid. Look at her now, looking yeah. great. But, but some of the things in terms of truly differentiating toxic shock syndrome vis-a-vis -vis the rash that she had, in TSS, one thing we always see is this peeling on the palms and soles, sometimes around the nails, and that's sometimes what differentiates it from some of those other rashes. So it might have been a clue in addition to just the generalized rash, but high fever, feeling lousy, you know, a little bit out of sorts, plus a rash, doesn't matter what it is, needs medical attention. For and sure. Gabby, now that you're feeling better and hopefully focus on having a little more fun. Lego Group heard about everything that you've been through. They're giving you $1,000 worth of building sets. Oh my God. That's a lot of building sets. Gabby, thanks so much for being on the show and, and showing thank us your beautiful you. smile. Christine, thank you so much as thank well. Thank you guys.